Hello everybody, it's your boy the Almighty Green Titan bringing you another video and this video pertains to the um, Eagles named their 2024 captains and there's quite a bit of them and before I get into the video, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel please hit the notification bell on top and most importantly hit that like button because that will make the video circulate off social media and YouTube land for everyone's enjoying pleasure. All right, let's go ahead and get right into it. And I'm going to read it out and let you guys decide for yourself. Are uh, these the correct guy that was made captains or should have been more than that? So let's go ahead and get started. All right. Um, the Eagles announced their captain for the 2024 season on Friday, which was today. The teams vote to name seven players and captains who will don the C on their jersey each game. For six out of seven players selected to be captain this year, if not the first time, for some players it will be. Joy Marlotta. Drafted in the seventh round of 2018 draft by the Eagles has come a long way in his career. The six foot eight tackle has never played a snap of football before entering the league as a rugby player from Australia. But now he has worked his way to be to be a captain of the team, one of the highest honors of a player can earn. Okay, here we go. I did this what he said. I mean, first off, I'm extremely honored to be a part of the of the creed of that creed, and I don't and I, and I didn't expect it. Whether I've had the seat on my chest or not, I've always considered myself a leader, just trying to prove and follow the example of what it was that that was set for me by the veterans and captains I've had in the past. So to now have the C doesn't really change my mentality, you know, just going to still go out and still go about my day and about my hustle, my lot of says. That's something that I'm going to cherish and not take for granted because, I'm, because it's an incredible opportunity to learn to lead this team and to be a captain is crazy. My lot it has will enter the season coming off a, a off the season in which he started and played one percent of the team's offensive snaps, one thousand one point seven. The seven year tackle is excited for the season to officially get rolling as he is grateful to be to be grateful to the teammates who have helped him earn his honor. Lane Johnson, Jason Kelsey, Brandon Graham, Fletcher Cox, Jaden Hurts, guys who have guys who I've had the honor of playing with and who has been previous captains or still captains now. My lot of says it's a great example to have been a part of and to see them lead and how it how it can help move me as a leader. That's what I'm excited about. Just to keep on the this journey with the same guys. It's not going to change anything. Here's a complete list of players who will earn or serve as captains for the 2024 Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, AJ Brown, second year as captain. Jason Elliott. Third year as captain, Brandon Graham, sixth year as captain at the most. Um, Jalen Hurts, fourth year, fourth season. Lane Johnson, third season. Jamal Jordan, my lot of first season, and Daniel Slay, Anthony, third season as captain. All right, here we go. It, it's, it's decided to be voted by our by. By, by, it's, it's, exciting to, it's exciting to be voted on by your peers and your coaches. And just knowing that I have the trust in the organization is a role that I've had before and I'm happy to continue it. And hopefully we have another great, great 
special teams unit and kicker Jason Elliott about reaching the honor. I'm just kind I'm just kind of looking forward to getting this thing rolling again, honestly. Just being in the locker room with these guys. We we've, we've got a great group, a lot of good guys coming back, and a couple of new faces. A lot of young guys, so it's great. So it's a great opportunity for me and the other guys to kind of lead them and show them the ropes and how we do things around here. Being named a captain is a high honor, and it's and, and the players know that and what it means, especially as they're selected by their own teammates. Oh man, it feels great. I'm blessed. I'm thankful for these guys for voting for me. It's always exciting to be a leader of the team, and my team recognizes me as that leader. And I appreciate each and every one of them. All I do is try to get go hard and be the be a great example. Play says. Uh, while being a captain is a high accomplishment and shows that one has done a lot in the NFL, the work. Doesn't stop there. Once you get there, there is always going to be room for improvement. And as Brown puts it, it takes a village to to continue the work. It means uh, it means a lot. Just my team members to vote for, to vote me and to trust me to lead the guys. My reaction was really just to continue to try to work on myself and try to be. The best leader I can be, Brown says. While while accolades and awards are nice, the team knows that that is more to focus on ahead, and there is one goal at the end of the season. Just continue to keep leading and just try to be great and trying to lead up to wins, victories, and hopefully a ring. That's the main thing, Clay says. Written by Lamb Whisker. All right, that is the end of that. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. All the leaders were chosen. Go back to go back to mention leaders again, and let me know which one you think is a good leader, the best leader, or the so-so leader. Or let me know which. I mean, let me know which which, which excites you the most at for leading concern. Because how so many guys? Uh, two and three you two three and four year plus um uh, on leagues of the team. AJ Brown, Jake Elliott, Brandon Graham, um Hertz, Johnson, Marlotta, and Slay. A lot of these guys are third and four year players in AJ Brown his second year. He's the only one him and Joe Marlotta are, are the ones are the only ones under three years of being capped. Everybody that's three years or more. So, let me know which one which one you think is the best leader for the team. In my opinion, I think it's uh, 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 um, Brandon Graham. Since this is his last and final year on the team, he he hopes to go out with a ring and with a possibility of, of having a good year, ending the year on a high note. He's entering his 15th year with the Philadelphia Eagles, 15 years in the NFL. That's quite an accomplishment for a guy who was a first-round pick and being viewed as a bust. In the first two years in the league, remember he was drafted in two thousand and ten, I believe, by Andy Reid. Before Andy, two years, two years before Andy Reid left the team, it took it took um Brandon Graham up until two thousand and probably I think twelve to become the guy that he promised to become. Where twelve, thirteen? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Two thousand thirteen. Two thousand thirteen. It took him. It took him. Till it took him three years for for him to become the player that he has become. After he got after he after he got like sixty, after he hit he had between fifty five and sixty sacks of his career. He has one All Pro. He they, they, they think he's been two Pro Bowls, one All Pro, I believe. He he won the best Eagles all the time, and he flourished over time. You know, I'm gonna say this right here. I think Chip Kelly is the reason why Brandon Graham. Evolved to the guy he became because in Andy Reid's first three, final three years with the Philadelphia Eagles, Brandon Graham 
wasn't as ready, ready to step in as as um uh, as following. When Chip Kelly came to came to the Eagles, he bought the three four defense, and Brandon Graham played outside linebacker. And that's how he became. That's how, that's, that's how he got better and better and better as a defensive end coming to his own in the year. And the Eagles have been through two different cultures since Brandon Graham. I mean, since um Chip, since Andy Reid. No, I'm sorry. Well, Andy Reid for three, Chip Kelly has been two. Coaches that came and went, and, and who who's here now. So anyway, like I said, let let me know what you guys think about this. Um, about the team captains. Uh, let me know who, who, which one you think is better. I I've already said mine, Brandon Graham. Let me know what you guys think. I just need to. I just want to elaborate a little bit on Brandon Graham since he's the oldest player on the team currently, and. Entering the league and captain for the sixth time in six years. And I am out of here. One love. Enjoy your Friday. The weekend is coming. And it's going to be a good one. Peace.